morning guys welcome back to whiskey and sunshine off grid this is Shelly so I'm headed down the road to my local farm store to pick up a bale of straw uh, I finally got my um, garlic in the mail and I need to get that in the ground and get some straw on top of it so it's nice and insulated we are supposed to have some cold nights coming up so I want to make sure that it's gonna be okay um, it's not a very nice day today definitely cloudy overcast um, let's see 50 53 degrees and off and on drizzle doing garlic and I want to do it right so that we have garlic next year to pick and um, so going to get the, the straw and hopefully will be non-eventful and I can get back and start with putting the garlic in. I'll see you in a bit. I'm back got my straw and I'm back out at the garden at the bed that I want to put the garlic in and um, so I'm just gonna get started with this I got six cloves of um, uh, bagar bug a tear garlic I don't know here see if you can read it can you read it seed garlic anyway <laughs> I ordered six cloves um, and I got seven they threw an extra one in I hope they meant to do that and didn't do it accidentally um, so it came in this box and uh, so I ripped a bunch of them apart they've got to be they come like they come like this and you gotta tear them all apart and take all the individual cloves off. So that's what I did. This bag is um, four of them, all four of these big ones broken down. And uh, so I'm gonna put these into the bed. I'm gonna do um, four inches apart and two inches deep into the ground, into the bed. Um, and we're gonna hopefully have garlic next spring. Okay, I have my little uh, ruler out here just so I can get them roughly the way I need to get them. Now when you pull these apart, hopefully you can see um, there's a bottom and a top to the clove. So this is got to go in the ground like this so this pointy top <laughs> I've got chickens all over she's talking over here um, the pointy top stands it stands up like this in the ground so this has got to be pointing to the ground so that's where your sprouts gonna come up and come out of the ground and these are where your roots are gonna come out of so you need to uh, put it in like that So we're gonna do I'm gonna do a line. <laughs> Are you here to help? I'm gonna do about every four inches. I'm just gonna make a, a little mark where I need to ish. So my first row, I'm gonna do like this, push down in, put down in about two inches. Let's see, it's 
in and up and in two inches. I try not to cover it over. Whoops, goes one in there. That one I guess wanted in the hole. Until I'm done so that I don't forget where I've put them. You put them in and then cover them over, you're like, did I do this row yet? I don't know. So you wanna make sure you make it so that you know where it, where your row is. All right, so my next row, I'm gonna do every other. So here I'm gonna go in between these two holes and I'm gonna go up in the middle about four inches from there. So right about here. And I'm gonna do another row every other so I think I can put one over on this end too all right then we're gonna start the next row is gonna be like the very first row so I'm gonna go up and do about four inches from that one so it's basically going to be in between the second row, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's hard to explain. <clears throat> Hopefully um, you can see. I'm keeping it in line with. So this is my first hole, and I'm keeping it in line with that. That one's a little off, but. And then this one. And this one. And then this one is in between each. and cover this over and then cut open my hay bale or I keep saying hay bale but it's straw my straw bale I'm gonna cut that and then put it on top a nice thick layer and hopefully that'll keep it for the winter I may when some of the leaves come off I may rake some of those up and put them on too but um I'm gonna water these in and water them for a few days. Oh, if this girl doesn't pick some out, I'm gonna have to get these covered.
just as easy as that is that I'm gonna go turn the water on and uh, we'll water these in Yeti's having a fit. What's the matter, Yeti? You want to come in? <laughs> All right, you come in. So look at that. My beautiful garlic bed. So excited. <laughs> and I even have some garlic left over. So I'll do this every, I don't know, probably not tomorrow. Um, Maybe every other day or something. Or every couple, two or three days. It all depends on what what the weather is. If it rains, I probably won't worry about it. But um, that's a nice thick layer of straw. And I have all this straw left over. It's probably, I don't know, two thirds of a bale. So that is good. I'm excited. Now if I can just keep the chickens out of it, I'm going to have to close my door and lock them out. Right now they're having a good time. I suppose I could fence it off and keep them out. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Here we go. Trouble. Hey, trouble and double. Double and trouble. Get, get, get out of there. Yeah, I know. There's, they're cussing at me. So it says, um, what I read is that should be the straw bed on top should be four to six inches um, deep. So I put a little extra on. I've got plenty. I've got a whole half a bale here of straw. So um, I got it pretty thick. I've got a little fence around it to keep the chickens out there turning my beds over right now that I'm not using so I'm okay with that <laughs> they're having fun and then they're dust bathing over here so uh, I have some straw left I'll probably do something else with and um, yeah so I wanted to make sure that was thick enough so I think it is now all right guys so thanks for coming along on my garlic journey first time planting it we'll see if I did it right if it comes up um, I'll keep watch and we'll see if we get any sprouts before the snow comes and um, we'll hopefully fingers crossed that it comes um, up in the spring and we get some bulbs and some yummy garlic when it's time to pull it out of the ground so I gotta be patient and <laughs> hope this works. It should, I don't know. I mean, I think I did everything right. So anyway, uh, thanks for coming along guys and we'll see you next time.